So let's see if we can get to that ammo down there without getting it. Where did he go? Oh shit! <laughs> for that, just for that, Edgar, you get buckshot in the nuts. You son of a. Welcome back, everybody, to Seven Days to Die. I'm an old guy gaming, and this is Alpha 19 Experimental, where we play this game on insane difficulty. The zombies are all set the nightmare speed, and we have a hell of a fun time doing it. Okay, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and actually attempt the POI at night here. Uh, we are picking up, by the way, right where we left off in the last episode. Um, but the thing is, is I don't. I just realized I don't have a torch. Now, we do have some animal fat from all the hunting we did in the last episode, so I might... Um, might go ahead and grab some of that. Well, we might as well grab all of it if we're going to hang on to it, right? Um, but we need to come up with some cloth and... Uh, wait. Yeah, we need cloth and, and uh, I think, wood. Well, we got the wood. Yeah, we need to come up with some cloth uh, to make the torch. So maybe we will find some uh, inside there. Now, oh, there's cotton. Okay, yeah. We'll just do the cotton. we got to be careful, though, because there's a bunch of Zeeks around, and they're probably ferals. Um, so we probably would behoove us to clear them first before we start. Also, it is like really dark out right now, so I will probably bump the gamma up when I edit this video later. Uh, for those of you who are watching me for the first time, I do not turn the gamma up while I play the game because I like the dark, you know, the darkness for the immersion and that sort of thing. Uh, but I, I will uh, turn it up in editing later if I, I feel like it's too dark for you guys to see at the moment, at least until we get the torch going. All right, so anyway, we've got, uh, we got we can grab some cotton over there to get the cloth that we need, but we also have a Zeke over there. We have one wandering around over that way too. Um, so let's see if we can take them out with our silenced weapons. Sounds like a zombie was fighting a wolf over somewhere off that way. Um, yeah, let's go after this guy here first. We've got a wimpy ass level one pistol and I only have one level in handguns. So that's why it takes so many bullets to kill these guys. But at some point, I, it is definitely my intention to to get the handgun skill up a little more. Alright, so let's make a couple of torches here. I might hang on to that stone to repair this later if we need to. Yeah, I, I thought I heard somebody over there. It is really dark for me, you guys. Like, super dark. So it's hard to see stuff. Might as well harvest this since it's right here. I'm pretty sure there's still a Zeker over there, but I can't tell. Ah, uh, yeah, there's an Edgar right there. Okay, let's let's eliminate him. Wait for him to stop so we can get a, a headshot. Oh, he's feral too. Holy crap, this you know what? Let's let's see if we can avoid him. <laughs> he's gonna take so many rounds to kill. Oh jeez. Uh, I guess the other option is we could just use our AK or our shotgun, and if we wake somebody else up, we could go escape on the on the mini bike and come back later since we haven't actually started the quest yet. This sculpt that I have on here is only a 2x, so I can't zoom with it. Yeah, I don't know if there's someone over there or not. Well, we can't wait all day, so if Edgar comes after us, then we'll we'll just have to blast him with our shoddy or something. All right, um, I'm gonna double loot this place because I do know where uh, the fat loots are. They're basically up at the top of the little drain elevator there. 
Let's just stay really quiet, though. I hear... Fo okay, there's a... There's a Darlene right there. Oh, <laughs> nice one. If I had a dime for every time I've done that in this game, man, I'll tell you what. I'd be a rich old guy. I can't even see her. You know, she might not even know where we're at because it's so dark. She's all hung up on the tree. Yeah, <clears throat> I'm just wasting ammo because I can't see her very well. And she just keeps moving. Okay, now she's holding still. I didn't wait for my crosshairs to completely close. There we go. All right, it took me a while, but I got the job done. <laughs> uh, all right, let's uh, let's try a double loot on this place. So we need to go up here. Okay, so there's the soldier there. Can we shoot through here? Oh man, he's a feral. <laughs> okay, he fell all the way down. We should be safe because I put some, you know, some supporting blocks against the wall, so... Nice, we got some shotgun parts. That'll come in handy. Okay. I think... Can he get back up here? I can't remember. Uh, kind of looks that way, huh? Except for... Here, let's block that. And we're going to have to fight him through here, it looks like. Feral soldier, that's some scary shit, man. Come here, dude. Where'd you go? Did he ra <laughs> did he ragdoll off the roof? <laughs> kind of sounds that way, doesn't it? Okay, let's open this up real quick. I should have taken that those before we open the other, but let, we'll just wait uh, for. Oh, that's pretty decent stuff. Um, is this better than this? I think it is. I think it is, yeah. Um, well, this has the mods on it too, yeah. So this one, if we take the mods off of here... And put them... Actually, here, let's just compare them before we do any mods at all. Yeah, this one's better. Okay, cool. So it's just a, a slight upgrade. It's the block damage that matters the most... So I know actually that's more than a slight upgrade because I was looking at the melee, but this only has 46 block damage. This has 50 without any mods. And now it's got 57. Okay, that was a really nice upgrade, actually. I'll take it. Um, all right, so there are is, our is, is our some ammo uh, down there. If we can get to it without this guy killing us. All right, well, we took care of that problem, didn't we? Sounds like we might have another Zika Ruski. So let's see if we can get to that ammo down there without getting it. Where did he go? Oh, shit! <laughs> for that, just for that, Edgar, you get buckshot in the nuts. You son of a... <laughs> he was like... 
<laughs> it looked like he was crouching and coming right after me. Oh man, that was that was uh, frightening and hilarious all at the same time. Oh man, we're out of wood frames still. Let's do another twenty. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. You never know what's gonna happen in this game, man. You just never know what's gonna happen. We got a burner there. There's another working stiffs down there. I suppose we could, we might, if, since we're double looting, we might as well kill these guys and get as much as we can. Oh, he, tried, he got on fire. Awesome. Sometimes the chips just fall your way, don't they? All right, let's go down here. There's some food right there. Ah, it's not food though, it's drink. It's good drink, but we actually need something to eat. Okay, we already have an orange steel shovel, so this one I'm probably going to scrap for parts, which is good, because we could use the parts too. Okay, let's go back the way we came, um, just because I don't want to try and go back down to the building and then wake up a bunch of sleepers. Uh, can't get up there. It's also getting a uh, light out too, so that, that actually worked out quite well to to do the double loot first, because now we'll be able to see what we're doing once we do it for realsies. You know what? There is a safe in here too now that I think about it. Let's let's see if we can get that too. There might be a buzzard up here. I can't remember, but if there is, we'll shotgun him. There it is. Okay. Yeah, I, for, I forgot, well, I forgot about the safe altogether until we got back down below. We'll just put that there to prevent something from coming down uh, from below. We could get something coming up from up above, but I th actually, I think we were just up there, so we'd probably be okay. Yeah, that's just a crawler. That's not just a crawler. Man, we're totally double looting this place, aren't we? Oh! Now where's that coming from? This is not, this was not the plan. Okay, we took that guy out. Oh, you know what? They must be right outside where we put those blocks. That sounds like a lot of Zika Ruskies, man. All right, let's reinforce this, and we're gonna. We might have to get the AK out and go to town if we get a shitload of them. Let's put um, this. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where the hell's my sledgehammer? Here. Let's put that here too. Okay, so that's where they're trying to break through at. We'll just get our shoddy ready.
Okay, I still hear another one. Is he down on the bottom? There you are. I thought that might have been you, Edgar. Come on, Farmer Brown, stick that head up. I love it when a plan comes together. All right, um, I think we're clear. Oh, look at that. Ooh, wow, okay. That's amazing. Maybe we'll find, uh, we can either find the schematic for the chassis, find the chassis, or maybe one of the traders will have it for sale, so. Uh, yeah, actually, we'll take both of those things, too. Okay, let's do this. Um, should I pop one of these? Yeah, what the hell. Let's do it. And we still have another one for when we get to the fat loots again. Uh, at the end of this... This, uh, quest, which we haven't even started proper yet. <laughs> but that's okay. We're doing good, man. We're finding stuff. We're getting XP. Okay, let's see what we got. Nice, 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 nice. Okay. Now, I don't think... Yeah, we're not going to give up our triple pocket mod for the impact bracers, but once we get, you know, boots that have two slots, then we can use that later. Um, okay. All right, let me grab the brass here, guys, and then we'll we'll go downstairs and we'll start start proper. Let's start this quest the way we're supposed to after we kill this deer over here. Cuz he's just right there. Why not, right? We're going to bring back so much meat. We'll kill. Let's kill Skater Punk too. All right, let's do this. This is uh, just it's a, a fetch and a clear. Okay. Oh, we got a we got a um a vending machine in there too, which is good. Chance for some more food. Nice! Nice! We're starting to see the better loot. So this has 54 black damage. This one has 56, but it's also got the mod. We're not going to be able to modify wrenches until Fun Pimps pick, uh, fix that. Hopefully they will do so. So, okay, so if this has 54 block damage, this one's still going to be the better wrench to use until we can mod that. But I will hang on to this for later. All right, is what it is. Oh, that's a, that's a dummy uh, vending machine, which is actually good, because we can take it apart for some steel. We'll do that after we clear the place, though. Hopefully I won't forget. What was that board-breaking noise? So, let's see. Is there more dudes in here? Let's try a shotgun blast. I thought I thought there was like usually a bunch of Zekers in here that they would rush you. There's someone laying down there. It's really hard to tell. All right, well, we're going in. Just keep the AK ready. Here. Actually, I got an idea. We got to take this apart anyway. It'll make a shitload of noise. Let's just do it now. And if we flush it someone out, good. If not, well, that's good too. Because then I won't forget to wrench this and get the steel from it. Just want to make sure there aren't any more sleepers hiding like behind here. All right, let's do this. Uh, we'll get this back on our toolbar. All 
I think it's hitting the chair. Crap. Okay. Come here, Edgar. Having the silencer is so nice. Because we can take out Edgar without waking up the whole damn place. There's quite a bit of cement in here. Actually. Alright, what do we got in here? Oh crap, man. We're running out of time. It took us such a long time to do our first double loot. I'm not gonna grab that. Alright, guys, I'm not I'm not gonna split this episode up. Uh so this might be a little bit longer than than usual. So we'll just see how things go in editing. Yeah, I know, that hurts. Getting it right in the nuts, but you deserve it. <laughs> um, okay. Is there anybody else in on this floor whose attention we can get while we're up here? Oh, I don't know. Let's just go. take all of that stuff is this better it is not so that means we're gonna scrap a doodle this I know we can make a decent amount of money off it but I would rather have the parts for now and let's wrench our lamp here okay so we're probably gonna have a burner or three up here Case in point, right? Can we get into a sniping spot for him? We gotta be able to get to his head. Can't quite get to his head from there. Let's go a little further this way. There we go. Okay. Almost sounded like that buzzard woke up and then was flapping out there. Okay, we got another sleeper nearby. I'm not sure where he is. He's right there. There's our buzzard buddy. Did I just see a, a burner at the door, or is that just the buzzard? Alright, we could block this door, but you know what? Let's just... Is that buzzard actually smart enough to fly around the building and come through there? <laughs> that would be crazy if it was. I don't think he's that smart, though. Come on, buzzard. All right. Well, let's keep going. We'll have to deal with him when we get outside, I guess. Don't want any of that stuff. Uh, 
uh, yep, we'll take both of those things. There is something down here. Nice. All right, well, if we're going to go the path that we're supposed to go, we're going to have to go out here, which means we're going to have to deal with our buzzard buddy. Holy crap, man. All right. That takes care of him. Um, yeah, I guess we should harvest it. Well, I'd like to get the bones off of him more than anything. But we are not going to be able to carry everything. So what did we get? Well, hang on to the feathers, and I want the bones. Because we can put both of those things back down in, into the bike. Okay, let's finish out the POI first, and then I might have to make a trip down back down below to... Uh, oh, you know what? We missed the satchel, too. Okay, well, let's do the clear, and then we'll go back for the satchel. All right. Let's see if we can get a snake shot off on this guy. Oh. Not quite what I had in mind, but... <laughs> Yeah, it's hard to get up there, isn't it? Okay, he's probably going to pad around this way. Where'd you go, homie? There you are. Okay. He wasn't feral like his brother was last night. Okay, so we got the clear done. Um, you know what? I'm going to need room for the satchel anyway, so let me run back down to the bike really quick and uh, just clear some space here. Okay, so we need to find the satchel first, which is actually way back down here. Uh, looks like it's on this level... Uh, there it is. Okay. Uh, quest is done. Let's just go get the fat loots and then we'll wrap things up here. Okay. Let's take our um, eye candy. And see what we got. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, all good stuff. Fat loots. Um, look what we found, you guys. Woot, woot. Okay. <laughs> it's been a long time coming, hasn't it? It has been a long time coming. This helmet is not as good as the one we're wearing, so we're just going to pull the light off of it. And this will scrap for uh, military armor parts. And we will modify this, pop the light on. And look at us in our bad helmet light self. Woot! Okay. Yeah, man, I mean, I'll tell you what. I'm, uh, what level am I? In fact, we have a point too, don't we? We sure enough do. Uh, we're going to put that into... Uh, what am I going to put that into? Let's put it into 69er. Because uh, I want to get both of those up to 4. And then we're going to focus on Boomstick and, and probably Skull Crusher too before we transition to uh, something else. Okay, let's grab the ammo really quick and then we gotta wrap this up. Got stuck there. Nice. Okay guys, that is it for this episode and for this POI. We pulled some pretty decent loot out of that place. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go back uh, home, do the turn-ins, get some inventory management done. Um, I might go ahead and just bite the bullet and head off into this area and see if there's any kind of a halfway decent road uh, to get back up there. I mean, I don't want to come all the way back around this way. That's a long haul. On the other hand, though, I mean, we do have to go tr turn into Trader Hugh, so 
it might not be that long. Plus, we could stop back off with this trader, which, by the way, I need to fix the... I need to fix the... Um, uh, the text on that. Okay, so that's done. Um, yeah, you know what? I think I, I am. I think I'm going to go back this way, so that way I can stop off at this trader and see what they have in their inventory. And he could even take a quest from him if we wanted to. And then we'll come back to Trader Hugh, and then we'll cross back over. And we still have to do uh, a fetch and clear back in our, our, our original hometown as well. Um, so I will probably just do that off camera. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, consider hitting that like button and hitting the subscribe button. It doesn't cost you anything. Uh, it doesn't take you any effort, and it really helps the, 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 the channel out. So if you guys watch me on a regular basis, or even if you're here for the first time, and if you did like this, if I did entertain you, please do consider hitting that like button and hitting that subscribe button. If you didn't enjoy the episode, consider leaving me a constructive comment, letting me know uh, what you didn't like, and maybe I can uh, do a better job next time. All right, guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.